tap in to feel. You don't have to even say anything to me. I feel you. I would rather rather feel you than to hear you. Right. Because when I hear you, I also feel you because your words have a vibration. And that's why when people lie, they think they could lie, but you can't lie to me because I feel you. (laughs) Right. And and that goes back to uh, detoxing, making you more sensitive, sensitive to what? sensitive to energy, sensitive to communication. So you're able to communicate energetically. Like when you walk, for an example, you walk into a room, you say, oh, you know, it's a bad vibe in here. How are you able to do that? You have to be sensitive enough to know that. So so it's about, it's about that detoxing makes you sensitive so that, so that you can be aware. And once you're aware then you learn how to control and move. And once you know how to control and move, that gives you the spirit of discipline. So it's, it's level mm. to this. It's not just about you gotta, awareness. Let's okay? say that again, sis. Oh. You got you to gotta break that down for everybody again. So, so what I was saying is, is, is once you detox, you're able to be more sensitive. And then comes awareness, right? Once you're aware, you're able to control how you move, such the like. And then once you're able to do that, you get the spirit of discipline and discipline leads you on the path to gain wisdom, right? It's something, wisdom is a spirit. You don't, people are not just wise, like, oh, let me read a book. No, it doesn't happen like that. It's, it's levels to it. So um, that, that's what this, this path is about, is it's not just about the, yeah, go ahead. Which I'm going to add. To what you're yeah. saying, excuse me, because I, I you don't mind. No, go, I get go, excited. Go ahead, go ahead. We build them. We build. This okay. Is the reason. This okay. Is the reason. We reason. Because you know, like when I when I read, and and this is the the empress was was speaking as well. You know, the family was speaking, and she said, you know, it's in the Bible. And and when I was reading, when I read that, you know, when I read that, you are gods but you shall die like men and you, you're gods within yourself to me what that means to me is that i know what is best for this structure and to operate to be sensitive to move enough to be in not in control because there's only so much control that you can have right. but to be in full authority of yeah that's the better way this being right. this being and how it operates in the world out there. Because what I find is is that where people lose their divine characters is that they hand over their power of self outside of themselves, right? Yeah. So, so it's like, but once you know, and why does that happen? Like a lot of times people feel like, you know, they don't have, have any control over their lives or I would say any authority. Like, you know what I mean? Any authority. And that, what are you if you don't have authority over your own being, but beyond being, not being able to control when you breathe in and out, because you will never have that control. Right. You know, you will never have that authority. That's the ultimate authority that the almighty creator carries. But when it comes to your being, how you, if you don't have authority over your being, who has the authority? authority over you how is it being being used is it for your benefit you know and so it's 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 interesting because again detoxing purifying cleansing on any level but we we're starting with the physical level because most people can't control their mouth their mouth you know um and that goes with talking too you know like that's a, that's a whole nother they thing, say, but they, they can't what control they say, don't what they're too eating, much if you're not what they're enough, chomping, okay. and that's yeah. just the <laughs> basics. So who has control right. over you? If you so the the purification is to even purify like someone basically our system, someone our system, our circumstances in life, kind of putting on you that you're not a divine being because you have no. It makes it where you feel you have no authority over your goody, over your essence. <laughs> you know, right. so it's a it's a deep, 
deep, deep phenomena. And, you know, if you ask me, some people may be offended. But, um, you know, those who have ears to hear, they will hear. And those who, and remember, if we go back to the vibration, you know, it's a certain vibration that you're picking up on. If you're being called to cleanse and detox and purify and even join our program, (laughs) (laughs) then, you know, you are a chosen one. And I have to say that because most of the world is not there right now. You understand? And only if you ask me, you know, the cleansing of the spirit is, it's for us to feel better in this time, but it's really for our spiritual essence to, to find a, a full manifestation and expression, you know, because it's hard, hard to be a spiritual being as we are insensitive in the physical world that we are living in. It is changing. It is changing. And I think that the physical world knows that it's changing. There's a time and a place for everything. There's re- revolutions and cycles. But if you're being called, then you're being called to wake up. You're being called to open your eyes and you're being called to go, oh, I'm a divine one and I have authority. The most high, the almighty has given I authority over this goodie, over this being not another person, you know, not a, not, you know, money situations, all of that, that people over this over this deborah mm-hmm. israel said um jai is making things happen absolutely you know nothing happens without that that life force energy exactly. nothing nothing right so, nothing so, yeah yeah so it you know it we we um there is is a calling and and there's not many chosen to reach the fullness right so it's like you know if this is a a, a awakening an opening a chance for you to tap into the divine being that you are but it's being masked by environment the way you eat such the like emotions old then then tap in you know it's not for everybody but it is for those who want to tap in because uh there's a lot of people in the matrix right and so if you want to tap out of the matrix, a snippet, the program is, is amazing for that because it's, it's just the spark you need through your application to tap in and you go on your own journey, right? And there'll be more, um, there'll be more programs that will facilitate to, to guide you on that. But, you know, I always say uh, take back responsibility over the being that you are over yourself so that nobody has that control or like um chef said the the authority because when somebody has authority over you they control how you move how you think how you eat and everything you know and so if you want to do that tap in and now i remember what i was going to say before when you were talking about um uh people are moving out of um, emotions and things like that. And aforetime, we didn't move like that because we moved out of principle. Love is a principle. Love is not this. People have emotion. attached emotions and feelings to love. That is not what love is. Love right. is a principle. Love is governing yourself by principles and, and, and laws and statues that help you move in this earth so you know people need to detach love with feeling you know uh you may not like your husband today but does that mean that you're not gonna cook for him does that mean that you're not gonna care Mm -hmm. for him so what's what's that that keeps you uh doing those things it's the principle i'm a wife i have to operate in my nature we just had a disagreement but I still have to do this. And at some point we have to get back together. Just a little example. So it's a, it's a principle, you know, and, and we have to operate and get back to the principle of things, the principle, how, how does this, this goody function here? What type of food and drink and such the like, do I need to consume and other thing, what type of music and, and, do I need to listen to, to help me, to serve me, to operate in my divine self, 
in this realm? That's the question. So if you want to know, tap in, you know? Definitely tap in, you know, definitely tap in. And you can only tap in by going within. And you really, it's really difficult to do that if your chompers are like (laughs) active. Because active, are always eating for desire. We, we're stimulated. The, the people in this time love to be stimulated and they're reactionary. You know what I mean? And um, it's, it's time to, to let go that. You see me? <laughs> it's time to let go that. Listen, you would be surprised. When I did the 44-day juice fasting for the first time, mm-hmm. it was like day 36. And I was like, what am I going to do? I feel bored. Like you would be so surprised how much eating like takes up space for people. Like it takes up space on all levels. Like I didn't realize until I, until I shut it down for so long that I was using eating as a way to socialize. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. even though I'm a raw foodist, even though I was eating like, you know, healthy and raw food and everything like that, like really you know, at the essence of everything to eat is to get the nutrients that you need so that you could go on to the next level. And really that does not really need to involve enjoying the taste. It just is what it is. You know what I mean? Being objective about it. Um, I, 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 there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your food. Okay. No, uh, no, um, <laughs> nothing wrong with enjoying food because we will be having recipes. We have recipes. But, uh, yes. And the deep, Detox foods are delicious. Hear me when I tell you that. Plus, you're in a place, usually, you, if you're in the States, you're in a place where you could get things year-round. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Deborah Israel again says, yes, it takes a lot to reprogram your mind. Yeah, it's a it's a moment-by-moment phenomenon. Right. It, it's all, with, you know, it's a moment-by-moment phenomenon. And I remember one teacher, I remember asking one teacher when I was younger and I had just started this journey, I asked the teacher, you know, hey, do you meditate? And the teacher said, no, like everything I do is a meditation. Mm-hmm. When I hang the clothes, I'm meditating. When I'm going walking to go grocery shopping, I'm meditating. Everything I do is in a meditative state, you know? So my life, essentially is a meditation is what my teacher had told me, you know, and I really took from that, you know, I'm still mastering that. I'm still young. I feel like I'm young, you know, even though I'm 42, I feel like I'm still young. So there are many things I don't know and how, and how I don't know it and all of that. But I give thanks for the journey of detoxing that has allowed me to reach this level where I'm at and to be able to help facilitate ones and ones to go through their own detox, you know, and I'm honored to be sharing this space with you. I know you and I could be talking about this forever. Yes, this yes. is like, this is an yeah. infinite topic, you know, and it's um, it's something that's necessary right now for the evolution of the human being. And again, it gets really deep on a side note, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to go traverse no more further into it, right. but there is also this whole um, movement called human design. And they speak about, I, I didn't get really deep into it, but they were they were speaking about the guy who had something to do with the genesis of the of the movement. He was speaking about how the solar plexus is the gateway to evolution. Okay, the evolution of the human being. He say because he had you know gone back to when. And all of these are theories, but I'm just sharing with like, you what like the brain my gut connection, right? Right. The brain gut connection is is he? It's like the brain gut connection, that? but it's actually deeper than that because right, he right, was right. saying that all information, all information that you carry for generations is passed through the solar plexus. So it's interesting when we speak even about detox. There's times where you're de. I found on my journey that I was detoxing my stuff, but then there was times where I was actually detoxing generation, you know, stuff That's as well. It okay. So it, that it gets <laughs> deep. I, now I could, uh, Girl, bro, you talk bro, about bro. generational things that we carry. I mean, 
this thing is deep. This whole walk is it, deep. It's a it, lifestyle change. It, it was know? deep. I was like, like this isn't mine. Listen, but I'm but I'm but I'm releasing listen. it, but it's not mine. So he I was going you. into how the human being back in theor theoretically, theoretically speaking, mm -hmm. you know, Lemuria times back in back when Atlantis that human beings did not we were so evolved that we didn't actually eat. We didn't use our digestive system to eat and get to sustenance or what would be prana, mm -hmm. what people would mm -hmm. consider to be prana. You know, prana mm -hmm. is pure energy. Okay, for pe yeah. people who, you know, so it's it it was very interesting for me to hear that because I was like, wow, that's really and he said it, it's really deep, but he said until we really fully understand and understand the depth of that connection we as a human race will not evolve into the next level because remember the solar plexus while it's okay i don't believe that there's only seven chakras there's you, your whole body is a chakra system your whole goodie is a chakra system right but let's mm -hmm. just stay you know in in that alignment if you're dealing with the third chakra the solar plexus that's like the gateway the gateway to pass into the heart space, right? So it's like from the third up, you're dealing with a whole different um, set mm. of pre-programs that, that will cause action, right? Like, so when you're dealing with the lower, what people would say the lower chakras are, you're going to be dealing with survival. You're going to be dealing with a lot of even the lower, unfortunately, programmed emotions that, ones and ones carry like guilt and fear and anger and the, a lot of that is going to reside in in those three chakras so when you do the work that's necessary and you're fasting you actually starve the system you starve out like you know these these impulses and these programs what ends up happening is you evolve you evolve beyond that basic animal being that you are on a animal level because we all have animal goodies you know we all have animal bodies they're not bad but they just do what they do when they get hungry they they want to eat when they want to have sex they, they want to sex you understand this is the animal system but, but your heart space now that is where the reasoning as human beings this is what se separates us from the dog this is what separates even even they have heart space though if you ask me right but like i'm saying the reasoning that we have yeah. then it it travels up and traverses up and we're able to understand what our connection to the most high really really is on this planet but you cannot do that from the and i would call it the heart gut connection you know the heart gut connection because mm -hmm. a lot of times people's people's uh temptations and everything is controlled through the heart space of whatever it is they're they're experiencing you know mm -hmm. so it's, it's mm -hmm. interesting human design the solar plexus and that information is passed through the umbilical cord and eating if we don't have discipline in that area then we remain just in the state that we are as a human race yeah. and really when we really think about it what is the human race experiencing right now is experiencing a, a lot of um turmoil a lot of pain murder degradation on all levels like people are not happy like they're not joyous they, their heart spaces are not clean their their mental faculties are not clean they can listen to i want to murder i want to kill i want to you know, all of these different things that are highly, highly toxic and disastrous to our being, you know? So yeah. that's where we are right now. And so if people, it's no wonder why people are walking around and they're in such discomfort and they are actually like obese and, and it all is centered in that solar plexus that we're carrying information from generations, our generation, and if we have children, Children, we've already passed that information along. You know what I mean? Now we have to work on reprogramming that. So it's a, <clears throat> it gets really, 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 really deep because it we does. are not, it gets so deep. And, it gets so deep. But we're not, so, deep we're not going to make it that deep for the program. We're not going to make it that deep, but this is just reasoning. And, and you know what's so revolutionary is to 
heal yourself even even before having children so that they mm-hmm. don't have to deal with that emotional baggage and energetic baggage right and then let what will be there is us talking about uh coming from that level of eating for stimulation and desire right those are all lower like she just said just to um kind of uh you know gleam off of what you said those are all lower extremity um desires and to be stimulated and such the like and you know people are lustful where does that come from below that comes from here down right solar plexus down the desire the stimulation all of that stuff and that causes you to be reactionary, causes you to do a lot of things, but now let's eat for recovery so that we can now eat to live, right? Maintain, but then spiritually consume, like spiritually eat, let's eat spiritually. And that is where that light beam comes on. The less going back, the more empty you are, the more that light turns on, the more you get connected, the more, you start receiving so much from the most high and that's where we need to get to. It's not all about eating all the time, but what about the spiritual eating? What about the spiritual hydration? You know what mm. I mean? And, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that, but I think people are so surface, you know, mm. a lot of people that are out there and I, and I'm not going to go into this, but a lot of people are so surface with, healing and stuff like that and really not really doing the work for real and and so this is just a glimpse but it's detailed enough to give you those tools to actually do the work to actually heal so that your yeah. your light beam could come on so that you could be a beam to others around you because the things if you live a careless life and doing this and passing your body here there whatever when you cleanse you your- that life should be that life should be no more you know what i mean you should walk a certain way a particular way and i'm I'm not gonna say how to walk but doing if you're actually doing the work that your lifestyle is gonna change the way you carry yourself is gonna change right. your demeanor is gonna change That's- your energy is gonna right. change so That's when somebody right. see you they just see in light they see That's right. the most high you know, and what that divine beam is. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. And those are <laughs> and those are principles that the the the, yeah. the the to be Christ like, to be divine like that's to live in principles, you know. And um, that's what love so, is. <laughs> you see? You see? So it's it's a it's a it's all encompassing someone says thank you so much um Wakiria castillo gilbert says thank you both for sharing and you're right there's so much let's please do this more often definitely blessed to hear the knowledge thank you blessed love um if you like what we're dealing with know that we're not always going to be on instagram either (laughs) you guys could definitely um i did recently launch the raw holistic social media network which is like a facebook but it's just for holistic living right without all of the ads and the craziness and some of the pornography stuff you'd be accidentally popping up on sometime you'd be scrolling up yeah. oh, oh lot you know lot give me up here right. you know right. um are the killing or the anger or all of that nonsense it's a clean space for you to come to and for you to share and it's free so, you know, we have meetups. Chef Avia was our last guest in our meetup. And it went, well, we got to we got to do it again yeah. because we did have some breaking ups going on. Uh yeah. and we have some other special guests coming on, but I think the the most important thing to take away from our live right now is when you do want to join our program. That's one. Right. <laughs> we got to push the program Yo, because I, listen. Yes. Yeah. You know, we we put this together with full intention. And it's not just like, oh, well, let's just hurry up and do something because it's Equinox time. Like, Chef Avi and I have actually been talking about doing something like this for quite some time. Yeah. It just happens to be now is the, is the, is the perfect time uh, for us to facilitate it together. Um, but also, too, 
you you do want to tune in to be more aware if you took anything away from from this you know there was a lot said there's a lot covered um now is the time to become more sensitive and detox you know you, you have to detox if you're gonna if you do it with us great that's great for us and great for you if you do it on yourself that's great for you and still great for us because we're all one you know like i cannot be well if the human race is not well because ultimately i am part of the human race first <laughs> before i'm chef india camille or whatever i i and i before i and i am i and i in this physical form i'm part of the whole collective so you know we're just as well as everybody else is on this planet in the spiritual essence form so yes handcrafted nava handcrafted by nava are are those emeralds in those earrings yes they are those are some big emeralds like i don't see no big emeralds like that yet and look i when i, I I love it. Can you tell us what emeralds are good for? Um, so emeralds are good for the the what I know offhead, right, is um good for clearing up the the heart space and um worry, grief and things like that and really helping you to heal um a particular way from those things like grief and worry and anxiety and it's really calming for me because you know um sometimes i don't even like to look at um the benefits of something i actually just like to get it and see what it does for me and speak from that space so you know i so i'm not gonna be textbook all the time with oh it's good for this i i'm gonna tell you what it does for me right and that's what it that's some of the things that it does for me it helps facilitate that and um bring a harmony to me because the green color it, it opens me up and so that's what it means to me <laughs> now i do want to post the i want you to speak but don't i'm going to come right back <clears throat> because i do want to post i have to copy and paste the the link um to the program i want to put it directly okay. in here i do want to remind everyone too that through tomorrow it's two hundred dollars off it's usually 444 and it's going to be 222 so you know i really really recommend if you have not you do definitely want to take advantage of it you do have access to the program three months afterwards and you do have support emails as well that that you receive that we want to check in with you and see how you're doing and and know how your process is, of detoxing is going so there is that support as well and you have access to all of the recordings and everything for three months. So, you know, technically you have what you need. So let me get the, let me get the link. Okay. Um, talk we'll to the people, talk to up. the four people. <laughs> 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 right. So if anybody has any questions about the, um, the program, feel free to ask. Um, I'm here, here. I'm open. Um, if you have any, any questions about uh, what was discussed just now? If you have any questions about the program, signing up, as she just said, um, it will be available three months after, so you'll have access to it, and it will be a product after we um, complete the seven days. Um, it will be a product so that you you can purchase it um, at any time and, and um, yeah, so that you can purchase it at any time and do the, do the cleanse and um, there will be lives with that. So it's not, it's something to do right now because you'll get live interaction and such like, but after, if you wanted to purchase the program, it will be there and um, still have access to uh lives and stuff like that so chef india just posted the um the link to join the um the program it's gonna be happening it starts uh there's a pre-tox period that ha happens um where you pre-tox yourself to gear you up for the seven days and then um after that uh on the 29th the program starts so um join 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 and have fun with it be excited 
for the transformation. Okay, so with that, I am going to, let's see if we can get her back on. Um, let's see. Okay. Anybody has any questions? Let me know. Um, um, yes, the recipes are very simple. Um, I, I will say you need to have like, there, there's an equipment list and there's a, um, grocery list that will come with it. And right now, if you go on there, um, you have a um, the list already so of what you should expect once you sign up you'll have access to the the pre talk all right, right. Oh. <laughs> y'all saw my my solar setup i'm on solar i'm on solar so <laughs> y'all saw all the wires and stuff like that but we are back listen i put the link here i'm put the link again for everybody you know this is this is going to be great we even have like a yeah. playlist, a downloadable playlist, a divine playlist. What yeah. detox program you know got a playlist? <laughs> Hours. <laughs> right, right. So the link is right there, and I am going to save the live so that if anybody wanted to watch this again, you can watch it. You could take notes and join the program. <laughs> hey, someone joined from Belize, you know. Someone just joined from Belize. You missed the whole show, but it's okay. Don't worry, you can watch the replay. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. And um, let me see. I have to know. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up some way. Uh, I think when know, you end it, it yes. gives you the option. Okay. to save it yeah okay. i think when you end it it gives you the option to save it but yeah everybody detox season is upon us 2023 yeah. is an ominous year don't be like everybody else make sure you're prepared make sure you're sensitive make sure you are checking in with your goodie and your being and holler at us because we got the goods yeah. i'm telling you take that <laughs> responsibility of yourself and heal and and cleanse so that you could be a better being in in the environment you know so give thanks all right hey, chef blessed yes, love, love empress yes every yes, time every time. time thank you everyone for joining us yes thank and you tune in for our next us. live yes <laughs> all right all right let me see